had to work a little later. <clears throat> so I'm getting in here late. So I parked at the road instead of where I normally park. I'm gonna walk all the way in. Neighbor said she saw a buck chasing in the yard while I was on vacation this past weekend. Wasn't a big one. She sent me a picture of it, like a little four or six point. But I uh, haven't really saw any other activity of bucks chasing here, which is really odd because usually the week of Christmas we see bucks chasing a lot in this area. So we're about to get in here and grind a little bit. I sprayed some dope pee on our boots. I'm gonna spray some more of our of our uh, somebody just shot. Spray some more of our dope pee from nose down since. No. Uh, we're gonna see if we can't get it on buck this afternoon.
can hear him right here in front of me. Alright, so we just got over here to the field. I called my dad and told him what happened. Oh, I was, I don't know if you can see, I was sitting or standing over here on that hill over there. Oh, I really don't even know how far of a shot it is, but oh, we're about to look around. I really honestly don't even know exactly where he was standing. I might have to go back and watch the video, look around for some blood, and then go down there and see if we can find him. I'm just going to go back and watch the, well, that right there kind of looks like fresh tracks from like when he jumped. I'm gonna go back and watch the video real quick and make sure before I walk off in here. All right, so I went back and watched the video and <clears throat> it looks like I hit him a little far back. So I'm just gonna look around, see if I can find some blood, see how good the blood is and we'll go from there. All right, so <clears throat> couldn't find any blood. We walked down here in the cut over and I could see where he was running like hard on his front legs. You could see he was pressing down really hard where he was sliding down this and I got in here into this bottom and just shining this light that I have on my camera and I can see his eyes reflecting down there about 20, 30 yards maybe so we're about to walk down there and get him. Let me get my gun up. This is literally, he did not bleed until right here and I just walked down where he come from and the first drop of blood is right there oh, there's one drop there but either way right here you can see where he stopped right here it looks like not as big as honestly not as big as I thought he was but I'll get up on him. Put my gun down. He ain't a, he ain't as good as I thought he was, but uh, he'll do. He's a what's it one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, little nine pointer. Um, like I said, he's not as big as I thought he was, but um. He come, I got here super late. I got here about 4.30 and I went over, come over to this hill over here because I knew these does would be out here. And I uh, got out here. I think there was six or seven already out here. And I was watching them and I was just fixing to start moving down this hillside a little bit farther behind this grass. And I looked back towards where I come in and a doe was running across the cut over there. And I watched her for a minute, made sure nothing was following her, and another little doe come behind her. And after that, I started to make my way down again, and uh, I noticed another deer coming out of the back of the field. So I threw my gun up, and I could tell it was a bug, but I couldn't tell what he was. So I got my stuff together again, and I squatted down, went on down through this grass on this hillside back here. And uh, got set up decent, got my camera set up. And he was, he had eaten some and then he'd chased them does around a little bit. And I said I wasn't going to shoot him. And he kept coming in and out and in and out. And finally I said, well, if he comes back in this one spot where my camera would focus on the field and not the grass in front of me, uh, I was going to shoot him. And well, sure enough, he'd come right back to that open spot. But uh, I hit him a little back. I haven't flipped him over yet, but I can see the bullet hole come out back here right below the the uh right in front of the back leg here on the right side and i shot him on his left but he was quartering to me pretty good but uh, when i watched the video i thought i hit him farther back but i mean he didn't run 50 yards maybe and that's downhill but he didn't bleed at all he didn't bleed till he got right here where the camera's sitting but uh that's me in the freezer it's one buck down this year for me um, blessed to be out here hunting and killing deer.